Hey guys, Vico here. A little something different. Uh, with World of Tanks Blitz being as it is, uh, I figured why not play a kid's game. World of Tanks Blitz is going to be a kid's game. They're adding uh, Warhammer tanks and all the anime tanks and fake tanks. Uh, the difference between fake tanks and real tanks in the gaming world is that the real tanks are either based on something that existed or blueprints that can equate to our reality. Uh, so the anime tanks and everything, fine. I mean... I'm about done with trying to be anti this and anti that and just accept the fact that they're a part of the World of Tanks Blitz project. That said, this is Cats. Uh, <laughs> um, think of it as war robots, uh, for those that, that know what that is. And, and I'll put you in a, in a quick battle here. It's different types of vehicles that battle each other as bots. So if I hit quick fight here, go through tap to watch and they just battle each other with that and I died obviously completely uh, underpowered versus the enemy tank that was a lot better than mine so the interface is very similar to most mobile games uh, you have crates those that are shaking on the left and right and uh, you have championship like a league and I'm currently at stage 12 you can see I'm placed number four. Let's see if I can take out the number eight guy by clicking on a little red knife. Maybe, I think not. <laughs> oh, look at that. And we both have heals. Can we? Almost. Almost got him. <laughs> so um, the pluses and negatives to this, as you go through your, your vehicles and try to upgrade them, let me filter mine, you have different hulls. You have the classic hull. You have the Titan hull, and each has a different energy level represented by the little uh, lightning bolt. And the health represented by the heart. The Titan, usually more health. Uh, but the energy bar to equip weapons that require certain energy, it just depends. And you can upgrade each. There's, there's so many different kinds. Different tiers, the green obviously being higher than the blue. And then this, uh, my favorite is the sneaky. There's so much you can do. If you see the little cog slots, that's for weapons. The little square slots are for uh, upgrades. Like on mine, you see at the bottom, you have the little bumper right here that, that pushes your uh, opponent away, your weapon, and a heal. Or you have lifters that, that lift them up or down. And then um, back pedal, which pushes you backwards. Booster that pushes you forwards. Different wheels for different... It's completely customizable for you to do what you want to do. For example, if I go to my vehicle here and choose my third vehicle, the boulder, which is a round type of vehicle, I use two blades and a booster. So let's try to go into a quick fight here. Alrighty, see, I jumped on top of him and took him out instantly. In that instance, I was overpowered. So, and that's, that's a, a problem I have with this is that the balance you are either completely overpowered and they are not and then as you move up through the uh, your leagues or your championships here um, it balances out so as I've ascended through these stages as you can see if I go back to the wood league <laughs> I was overpowered each time I, I ascended through the league and then boom it started getting harder see in the blue part here and now I'm at, I just went to rank 12 last night. Yeah, you you got to try to to do what you can. So if I go through the championship here, if I just hit fight that button there, I'll go through each person or I can do them individually by clicking on these little knives here, this one here. Uh let me try to take out the number 7 guy here. And if that doesn't work, I can switch vehicles. See, instant death. <laughs> that shotgun but if I try something else like if I try my sneaky at the little one I was telling you about if I go here go back hit championship this is a little wonky <laughs> where is the number seven guy I bet you I'm still not gonna be able to do anything the health disparity see I didn't even get I didn't even touch him <laughs> so the overall goal one you want to ascend through the leagues. As you can see at the top here, I'm in the Gold League. I started down in, in the, uh, I forget, was it the Carbon League? I'm at number 48 here. 
and as you ascend you get rewards diamonds and the boxes the boxes are the same boxes as what you see here here you can unlock them by paying for money or you can unlock them uh, by just playing the game it's a very similar to other mobile games as I've said some people will argue it's pay to win I haven't put a dime in I would say if you do pay it's pay to progress uh, much like other mobile games like World of Tanks Blitz for example or um, Clash Royale so going back here I was down in the Silver League up at the top and I was making daily rewards with diamonds and boxes. So I'm working on that and the way to do that is just by playing, playing uh, quick fights. As you can see, you win some, you lose some, but you ascend or descend in points based off of how well you do in quick, quick fights. Another feature I do like is the betting system here. If I go here, you can place bets on a winner. As you can see at the bottom here, I got a battle in 25 minutes that I'm going to watch between these two players, and I bet on Alu910 here over, I can't read Cyrillic, <laughs> over this guy here. And I believe, based on my bet, that this guy on the right will win. However, if I place a bet, they have wood leak bets that go on every five minutes or so. So I don't think this Alucard's going to... Hey, I know that name. I don't think he's going to win. I'm going to place my bet on the other guy. So I'm just going to bet something I don't care if I lose. Like this bumper here. Hit yes. Hit OK. And in 12 seconds, we're going to see who wins. So, we wait the 8 seconds. Okay, it's ready. So I check it. Now I get to watch the battle. And let's see which one gets seal clubbed. I have my bet on Hello Imja. Come on, guy, you got this. I don't think he's got it. <laughs> yep, he died. He died horribly. Oh well, I chose not to recover the equipment. I, I bet it's no big deal. If you want to invest money in, in the, the diamonds, the gold currency, if you will, that's up to you to recover everything. I've earned the 25 that I have. I need to set one. As you go through the quick fights, the ones here, so if I win this one, you might have noticed that on my crates I had crowns. Let's see if I win this one here. All right, good for me. So I got 16 little blue cats that go towards my overall score at the top. And then these crates, if you win every five wins, you get a little crown on there. And what that means is you get better loot, basically. <laughs> so the features are, are, are okay. It, it's, great if you, great, it's great if you're a kid playing this game. A lot of kids play. It's also great if you're an adult gamer that just wants to sit in the living room and not sit at a PC playing. So for those of you serious gamers that watch some of my other stuff, this one might be great for, to be honest, the bathroom or the living room. It, it just depends on what your, your flavor is. This one is just you click, click, click. It's a clicker game. So the last feature I do like, the last two, skills like in many other mobile games like World of Tanks Blitz where you have crew skills this is also your crew skills as you can see I have two to use I'm saving them up for uh, my surfer platform that I have I found one in the garage here if you will it has three weapon slots and what I'm doing this one what I'm doing it only has ten energy that's not enough for the weapons I have See how these take up six, six, five. I'm adding boosts over here. When I have enough energy boosts, I'm going to try to get it up to 20 and put some overpowered weapons on it and just cruise my way up another couple, couple rungs in the league. <laughs> you also have clans or guilds or what this game calls uh, gangs. 
And for those of you that follow me from World of Tanks Blitz, yes, there's Triari. There's only one familiar, and that's my daughter, Crazy Fox Dog. And in my gang, I think she's at number three now with me at number one. Everybody else, the downside to this game is you cannot lock or close your clan or gang, as it's called here. It's completely open, and there's nothing you can do about it. So people just randomly join. You can preset the skill requirement. So for mine, I put zero because I just don't care. I'm not, I'm not taking this game seriously. But for you Triari folks out there, if you want to let me know, and I'll make arrangements to, to move some people around, if you know what I mean. But where's she at? Crazy Fox Dog, my daughter. Let's see how she's been doing in this game. Her. Like, oh, I play. <laughs> Sorry, a little little lag there. Uh oh. We're just sitting there. Who's gonna die first? So if both end up upside down, the walls come in to close the game out, so you're not waiting forever. Who knows who would have won that if the walls didn't close down? Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, is this game just for kids? Am I wasting my time? How come I'm not in World of Tanks Blitz so much? You'll have to watch my last video for that one. Um, let me know what you think. Did I miss anything? Uh, championships, you ascend up the ladder, you get better loot. It's really, there's no end game. You just ascend the ladder. However, when you get to the top, they take everything from you, give you a new hull, and send you all the way back down to the Wood League, keeping all your cool stuff that you had before and you start all over again which is why you see these blue numbers the two the three the nine those are people who have cycled all the way through once already um, so you just sit there and click away let your timers go very very similar to other mobile games that have the same concept of crates loot and microtransactions for pay to play or I'm sorry pay to progress I don't think it's a pay to win, it's whatever. My overall grade, I give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's just something to enjoy, it's very simple to do. Uh, the interface is a little wonky and the clan, or, or I'm sorry, gang system here, not, not able to restrict the gangs. That's why I don't like it completely, giving it a 10 out of 10. 7 out of 10 is pretty solid. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. There's a lot more games to come that I haven't put on the channel before. Uh, more World of Tanks Blitz to come. Some of you know why I took a hiatus. Some of you don't, and that's fine. Till next time, I'll see you guys out there.